Hey everyone, Bay Duff here. So welcome to my blind playthrough of the next episode in Fear to Fathom, the Norwood Hitchhike. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Did you ever once struggle to find a buddy to go on a nice, cool, crisp walk in the middle of the night wearing flip floppies and having their thumb out looking for free rides? Well, look no further. This guy got you covered. Now you're probably wondering, uh, did he say flip floppies? Well, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you wear flip flop? In order to be a proper hitchhiker, you gotta wear flip flops. It's in the Constitution. I mean, look it up. It's like the 98th Amendment or something. You know, the right to have exposed toesies. Not exactly the verbatim, but let's go ahead and start the game. Episode. Uh, oh, I don't know why he has that noise. Ah. So it looks like the playtime is about 40 minutes. Let's jump right into it. Fears to Fathom. Now if I remember correctly, the first episode was based on a true story, like someone's experience. Oh, it's June 16th. Ooh, this is gonna be a hot day. Or night. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even just a little bit. Nope, you're gonna get trolled. I was one of those people that loved gaming convention. Ah, a wee bit. I go to every convention I get the chance to. Oh, an uber weeb. And sometimes meet, even meet some of my online friends. Okay, this guy is an idiot. Though my parents were always thrilled at the idea of me going on to Interstate Drive. Wait, wait, hold on a second here. He goes to every convention to meet his online friend. If he plays Call of Duty, he's gonna meet a bunch of nine-year-olds saying they like to bang my mom. Alright, whatever. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. I get it. This convention I was at went great. But now... But it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's a convention. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic, of course. It was a little over a 12 hour drive? Ah, oh, jeez. A 19 year old on a 9 12 hour drive? Whoa, oh, I get to drive! Ooh, look at me driving. Oh, can I crash? Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 maybe I shouldn't crash right now, actually. I might get stuck. Ooh, I got a message. All right, let's take a look at my phone while driving. Let's see here. Let's read the, all of the text. Wait, wait. Yeah, we're good. Wait, right? Yes, keep going. No, no, no. Who told you to stop? Okay. I uh, gotta get full speed. This is from Aiden Williams, Discord. We got ticks. So, I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know. Finally gotta take Milo on a walk. LOL. Yeah, he's been starving for the past week. A-L-R-L-O-L. -L. All right, I think? Like, seriously? You couldn't just put K? All right, whatever. The plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yup. Biggle. Biggle? Am I a biggle? You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Stall this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Am I... Avril Lavinge? Discord, where are you? Almost there. I don't see why. Peach shirt? It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Big lip smile. Again, are you sure you're driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay. Give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, Dad. Not sure it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the century. That sucks with an X. It's not too good here either. I think the people, it's the people from the convention. Nothing. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Thanks, Aiden. Ooh, text from Dad. You're cold. Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Can I get your call for five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10-hour drive by yourself. First of all, it's 12, and Aiden's at least like 12 years old. Okay, he's a cool dude. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Yeah, okay, I'm a big girl. 
Let's talk when I get home. Try safe, Ollie. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Wow, he really changed his mind real quick there, didn't he? Aiden Williams. Uh, I guess he gave me his contact. Anything else? Drive now. Leave it now. Drive safe, Ollie. Oh, it's got Eagle Vision. Woo! Wow, drive. And now that's what we're talking about. Multitaxing. Huh? What's this? Some sort of barrier? Oh man, another text. Where did you reach? About six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. I wonder if that's what my cosplay at the uh, convention was. I just showed up at jam. And Aiden showed up at peanut butter. We're all, like stuck together. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh my gosh, you are? Let's eagle vision on it. So we can really comprehend the situation. Yeah. Let's keep reading the text. I told you to take that flight. Well, why didn't you pay for it, Dad? I'm only 19 years old. Alright, another text. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. I hope you're feeling alright. Nope. Feeling quite scared and nervous. I'm out of. Oh, oh, I saw that. Did you see that? It was some sort of shattery figure. He has a pickup truck. A shattery figure with his pickup truck. Oh, let's stop. I can't break. There's no brakes. Okay, good. Ooh, I almost ran into that other pickup truck. Well, I hope the uh, pump can reach that far. Hello? Is this drugs? It is not. Darn. Norwood Gas Station. Hello? I need gas. Let's go in. Maybe I should tell my dad, hey! I, oh wait, no, 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 I, I didn't realize I could type. I am at gas station. Help me. I am about. Mom, really? <sighs> Move over. I'm about to die. Send. It won't send. Ollie? Yeah, whatever. Let's just ignore her. She's not my real mom. Whoa, a little stiff there, buddy. Got elbows? How's your night going? I'm just gonna talk to complete strangers in the gas station. He just looked at me. Yeah, I would have the same response. His response looked normal. Mine wasn't. Ooh. Well, hello there. Are you playing solitaire? On what most... Uh, wow, this would be considered a dinosaur of a computer. Ma'am? Hi, can I get $10 on pump two? You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down here there this time of the year. Why not? What do you mean? What do you mean, be careful? For about a century now, many people have gone missing down there. Oh, really? And people who went looking for them never returned. Like the Burnt Duma Triangle down there. Local says that the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Can I use the toilet? Thanks for the gas. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's see if I can use the toilet. It's not clean. Ew. Actually, that's very realistic for gas stations. They're never clean. There was one gas station I went. I c shit you not. There's shit all over the wall. It's like, do you have anything better to do? I'm just gonna invade your personal space for a second here. Uh, yeah, you don't mind? Ooh, that's a lot of Marlowe. Okay. So I guess I got gas, and let's leave. And one more thing. Yes? If you see a woman in a white or blue gown for trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Why? Okay, well, who is she? I'm gonna say, who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on Palm Night. Some say that she seeks vintage after she was murdered there. 
Regardless, she's out for blood. Why me? I didn't kill her. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. That's actually very good advice. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. Yeah, they're Lithermen. They just ain't. Alright, thanks, handsome. Oh, 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 it's the shadowy figure! No, it's just. Is that the same stiff man who. Oh, I got text messages! Holly? Mom? I don't know if you find any shop at this hour, but where are the dog food? Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. No, Mom. You get your own dog food. I shall just feed him a T-bone steak. He'll be fine. Is this close enough? Is this close enough? Yeah, this is close enough. Good enough. No, wait, maybe this one. Oh my gosh, I parked too far. Oh, come on, you can make this work. This doesn't look like enough space for- Oh, okay, I'm not paying for that. Stop, 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 stop. Good. This has to be perfect. That is perfect. Thank you. I finally filled up my pump after... Oh my gosh. I just realized something. I'm a woman. And I drove terribly. I just perpetuated the stereotype. Oh, right. Uh, what do I do? My car tank was full. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something Milo from the store. Oh my gosh, all right, fine. Let's go buy some dog food. Is this it? Oh, that's it. G to throw. <laughs> ah, I love that. Hey, I wanna buy this. You got pump two, thanks. Oh, oh I, I didn't realize that, wait. That would be $5, ma'am. Wow, that's a steal for dog food. For good boys and girls, Pat Pat. That's actually pretty adorable. I will buy dog food brand name Pat Pat. That dog's freaking out though. Okay, let's put it in there, chuck it in. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's my skateboard. Uh, maybe I'll just get in the car. I should just put that in the car. Oh, okay, I, I thought it was gonna fly out since it, you know, doesn't fit. Okay. This is my favorite part about driving. I can't turn any further. So if I want to back up, I just free ball it. Good. We got plenty of gas. These last six hours of driving should be caked. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Or do I? Monsters truly exist. What? Every single one of them just looks like you and me. Wow, this guy became a nihilist instantly. I'm sorry, this girl. It's not expired or anything, right? Wait, do dog food expire? I actually never looked at an expiration date on dog food. Wow, I should probably start doing that. Huh, that, you learn something new every day. Eagle vision, suspicious vision. Uh, excuse me? Why did my light flicker? Why is my light flickering? I'm gonna ram this guy. Hey! I wasn't the best at driving! <laughs> nope! I certainly wasn't! Wow! A hit and run where the victim did the running! That's a first! Wait, how do I turn on and back on my light? F for flashlight? Car flashlight? It's gonna drive in the dark now. Well... Or not. Oh no. The road stopped. I must be at the bridge. A one lane bridge. In the dark. This is a long bridge. Better be one way. Not a whole lot happening. Oh, wow. Do they have a forest fire or something? I don't really see a GPS. 
anywhere on the dashboard or on my aisle seem to be using my phone except to tech. Which obviously you should never do while driving, but... How does this guy just go recalculating in his brain and just go, You know what, I'm gonna take that route over there. That looks like it's gonna go exactly where I need to go. That never happened. Oh! Hmm. It's a regular car. That's normal. Hey there, little buddy. This is a very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road that wouldn't budge. They certainly did not. I rammed them at full speed. It almost seems like if, oh, someone tipped them. I didn't think of it that much at the time. Those were heavy. My car couldn't budge those at full speed. But no worries, I'm a big girl. I can handle these. You don't move them all the way. Oh, you have to hold them. Gotcha. I'm doing all the legwork. Oh, ah! Thank you, tall grass. I'm actually getting a little spooky. Turn on the car. Come on. Come on. No, don't you dare. The car won't start back up. Is my car smoking? No. I did hit those logs too hard. I can't see. No, don't get back in the car through the hood. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. What do you mean no phone service? <gasps> I have no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever bullcrap the gas station clerk pulled, but I'd be lying if I didn't feel the slightest of our need. Oh. It's more than a slight. I don't mean to like to sound like a cliche horror story, but I'm gonna die. Throughout my life, I told her not to take lies from strangers. What stranger? But that at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Yeah, see, this is why you never take back roads unless you're absolutely sure no people there. 10.23 p.m. It's past my bedtime. I just stood here in the middle of the road. I, caught, I saw a car nearing. Good thing I had eagle vision. Ah! 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 Hey! 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 I should have gotten in front, right? Pure evil. I didn't understand how could someone, somebody leave another human being being stranded like that. No, that guy was being intelligent. Okay? Was, am I wearing flip-flops? See, I think that was my mistake. I wasn't wearing flip-flops. 10.43 p.m. About 20 minutes has passed. Alright. I'm a big girl. Wait, what if I put the log back? Then they have no choice but to stop for me. We can put the logs back. Hello? Here we go. Hey! He hit me! Oh, he's stopping. Cause he hit me, right? Hey, I'm coming. Oh, what? Walk back. Sideways, it's a little bit faster. You're the girl from the gas station. Hi, thank you for stopping. Didn't think anyone would stop following me here. I'm gonna be super grateful. Thank you for so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. Not gonna say anything. Okay. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in! Thanks so much! Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, he had a puck up truck. I don't want to get in there. I want to get in here. I feel like this is way safer. Oh, wait. I gotta grab the doggy food. It's very important that Milo does not go hungry. I grab it through the trunk. I got my bag. I only had two hands. So I grab the dog food. No, I don't need the dog food. Let's grab this. Yeah, let's grab my skateboard, though. 
Nah, I'm good. Skateboards are like, what, $20? I've never bought a skateboard, so I have no idea. No, 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 don't chuck that. Put it in here. Okay. Maybe I am supposed to throw it. Chucking. Apparently, I need a full hand to hold a hat and a skateboard. I'm pretty sure I can hold both with one hand. Whatever. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. Oh, I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. Oh, oh, okay, he, he got everything, good. I got, I got my hat. Hey? I do have a question, how big of a girl am I? Cause if I'm like, a bodybuilder? Perfect. So, you won't tell me who you are or where you're going. I'd rather not stay, if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. Mmm. Lie or don't lie or omit the truth. That's a tough one. What if I just stare at him and don't say anything? It looks like he's driving the whole way. You know what? Let's say I live really close from here. Is that so? In case, I wouldn't imagine you asking those questions at the gas station. Okay, you got me. It's okay. I wouldn't trust me either. Jason. What? My name's Jason. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Jason. Well, this is awkward. You're really lucky. I had to be on this side of the town tonight. This is not a town. I must say, you are one brave young woman. I know, I've been to every game and convention by myself. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was. It's an old car. That's it? I think so. So, been to any game and convention? Who's your, what's your favorite anime? So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He's funny. He really creeped me out. I didn't listen to a single word. Hmm, I'm gonna say he really creeped me out. Interesting. No, you don't follow up with that. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down there. Oh, good. I'm glad you think he's an idiot, too. So, is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. What, aliens? Hey, uh, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you won't be bothered. But you say you have never seen one, so how do you know who them is? You know I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. I know. Why do you think I'm hesitant to tell you my name? This is really creepy. If this actually happened to someone, I feel for you, man. Oh, man. 1208! After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Oh, good. So it turns out he was actually nice. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There's all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. Of course he did. Bye! Thanks, Jason! I like to think that was the little kid from Heavy Rain. He grew up and became a stalker. Hmm. Creepy. Roadway and- Oh, hey, you're wearing the same shirt! Wait, is this the same guy? The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Yeah, he looks like he has shoulder pads on. Okay, looks... Fine, I thought there was a woman staring at me. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? <laughs> How much is it for a room? Oh uh, yes, I'm only be here for a few hours. Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. Okay, here you go. Room number nine, right over there. I got room number nine. Cool. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Tell me we'll take care of it the next thing in the morning. Okay. Wow, one hundred and thirty dollars. 
scared, I'll let Tommy know. Did I have this much cash on me? And one last thing, I'm 19. Try not to wake the other guests. They may not take very nicely to it. Why would I ever bother the neighbors or the other guests? Does that happen frequently here? Number nine. Let's see. One. All right. Let's jump ahead. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Oh, my God. Tech spam. So let's see here. Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Thanks, Aiden. Holly? We mean reroute. Dad, I may have stayed on a hotel. It's not delivered. What we delivered? I still have no service? Frustrating. Oh wait, didn't they have a phone call here? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It was nice and warm inside. Well, what? no deadbolt? Except there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from old house. Wow, that's a nice TV. No mattress. No mat. It's the girl again. With my mattress. Excuse me. I, I paid for a mattress. Uh, I'll live with it. I, I can't make a phone call right now. Am I supposed to do something? I'm supposed to turn on the TV? It's Mighty Mouse. Oh, it's Superman. Okay, I don't need to watch that. Oh. I didn't need it. Why are there pills in my hotel room? Couldn't have slept there. Yeah, I would be quite uncomfortable. <gasps> did, did I open that? I didn't open that. Hello? Maybe I did. Oh, you can hide in here. Hello? <gasps> I got a... Oh... I better not talk. Okay. Good to know. Oh, 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 oh! Bad to know! Okay, guys. I think I'm safe now. It might have been a flashback. What are you doing here? You scared the jump butt Jesus out of me. Heh heh heh, who are you? I'm Tommy, room service, here at Roadway Inn, the finest stop over in Norwood. What are you doing in there? No, oh, cleaning stuff. The guy at the front desk gave me this room. Heh <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. What stuff? Oh, that's right! Didn't, um, Jason take all of my stuff in the back of his truck? Oh no, it's over here. He dropped it off. Good, good. I only had two hands. Yay, chores. I'm sorry, but I'm sure I can find a way to carry two suitcases, a duffel bag, a skateboard, and a hat. Real easy here. I, oh. I do not like you, sir. I saw all my stuff at him. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't worry, it's safe here. I can go get your car. And also, the room phone is not working. If anything, just ask the front desk. Why is the phone not working? We've been trying to get a fix, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Why are you laughing? What's so funny? Alright, I gotta get the... Is that a newspaper? I had to get my stuff before I could sleep. Hey, don't close the door on me. Rude. Look how much faster I can walk if I go diagonally. I'm pretty sure these two suitcases had wheels on the bottom. But nope, I'm a big girl. I can carry them. It's good for my training. Chuck him. Okay, let's close the door. No, you can't lock it. Off the light? Nope, okay, let's just go to bed. <sighs> this place looks like it definitely has big bugs and a whole lot of STDs. I'm 
Am I gonna sleep at the lot? Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. You're, not gonna, you're gonna ignore the creepy guy watching you? I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. Yeah, I forgot to close the blinds. This is like the first thing I do when I get into a hotel. I close the blinds and I deadbolt it. A hot cup of coffee will help, I thought to myself. Um, uh, here or the front office? I think it's the front office. Guy can't catch me if I walk diagonally. Coffee? Hey, you have a great night's sleep. Oh, uh, I, I guess not. Maybe the vending machine. Cola. Chocolate. Soda can. Meat snack. Ew. Oh, it'd probably be beef jerky. Nuts. Refreshing soda. Bubble drink. Carrot. Orange. Milk. Chocolate. Candy. Oh my gosh, you put everything in this. Where's coffee? Wait, they don't put coffee in vending machine? Do I need any of this? No, I don't need any of this. I'm too low on cash for name brand cola, but I'm not on low on for meat snack. Consuming these items increase your sprint speed. Why is this processing? Consume? What happens if I eat it again? Does this stack? If I eat 10 meat snacks, would I run as fast as Sonic? That is the question. Let's find out. No, this is not. Oh, actually that is pretty quick. Wow. Good thing I got the meat in me. Oh, there is a coffee vending mach machine. Why is it over here? Eagle vision. Okay. Espresso. Cappuccino, French vanilla. Oh, no. But the good stuff is not available. Fine, I got the espresso. Consuming these items help you stay awake. Yeah, I probably should stay awake. Okay. Oh. What happened? Did I forget that I have no clubsy? Oh my gosh! The controls are reversed! What? No! He roofied the coffee and the vending machine. Oh, I can't read. It also makes me illiterate. Go, 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 go. I still got eagle vision. Yeah, that's right. My one true superpower. I can't get in. Go, go, go. It's really hard to go reverse. Okay, good. I made it. I wouldn't actually go to bed. I would actually go to the front desk and say, hey, somebody spiked the coffee. I don't feel so good. And then just vomit all over him. And he'll freak out because it's half blood. And then he'll call the cops. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Oh, that's awful. Unless... Maybe I should get Jason to come back. Huh? I have like a red dot on the way. I don't get it. Nothing? Hello? You're not in the bathroom, are you? Oh, the light works. Actually, a really decent bathroom. It's not realistic enough. They need to be like, well, not this. The lid needs to be missing. This needs to be like pitch black. And then the grout needs to be like brownish. Hello? No? Who is it? Oh, the guy in the front desk. Oh, okay. Let's just open the door. Hey! 
didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I didn't do anything. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is, is that... Why are your eyes all red? Mentioned the coffee machine. I got sedated. Are you messing with me? No, we have no coffee machine. It's, oh, it's right over there. Okay, here. I had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest. But I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Lee Joe. I... Yeah, can you keep up? Watch me walk dangly. Oh, it's not working. Holy cow, Joe! You slow! You need some coffee! Oh, jeez. Um... The coffee machine is gone. Hey, this trunk is open. Go back to the room. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. To what? Happy? He was always mean. I swear to God, it was right here. I said go back. Now. Excuse me. But you don't get to tell me what to do. There should be some medication in your room. That should offer you some relief. No hometown does this. No, but no. I'm not taking that. Chuck the table by the TV. Uh, you know, I don't feel sorry for this big girl, okay? She's a skater girl who goes to gaming convention and takes drugs from strangers. Let's just take it. Let's see what happens. Let's go wild. It requires water. Alright, let's use the sink. Oh, you know what? Let's use the toilet water because you're not intelligent enough. Alright, you know what? Let's use the sink. It sounded like I just chugged the whole bottle. Oh, hey! The red dot disappeared. How do you know that was gonna offer me relief unless he sedated me in the first place? Hello? You know, this is the same mechanics in the uh, first episode, which is kind of cool. I can't uncrouch. I seem to be unable to uncrouch. Oh, there we go. Hmm, that was weird. Okay, let's just go back to the book. Was that a camera flash? Did someone take a picture of my beautiful behind? My eyes are all red again. This is freaky, man. I just realized what kind of a psychopath I look like. My eyes are all red and I'm staring at people who walk by my room. Hello. Wait. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. No. I refuse. I refuse. Who are you? I know you're in there. Ah. Uh, nobody's here. What's he doing? Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. That's exactly what a cop would say. Please go away. I'm going to call the cops. Complete bluff. Pretty lady. Come on. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. Get in the lab thingy. Open it. Oh, it's so creepy. That was like boss music. Oh. It ended there? No. What? We're going to beat this. Oh, good. It auto saved. Thank you. Me and my big dumb mouth. I had to say boss music. Okay, good. Oh, I gotta do all this. Well, thankfully, you guys don't have to watch this part. Oh my gosh, I had to do the whole suitcase thing again. 
Hi. So my eyes are a little wonky. Oh, that's right. Maybe I was supposed to answer. Call someone? There was no phone call this time. Should we open it? Hello? Oh, oh, oh my god! When did you get on there? I gotta try this again. I gotta do the whole suitcase transferring. I only have two hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta go in here. I gotta open this door. Ah! Oh my gosh! You just scared the crap out of me. Yes, 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 yes. Talk all everything. Oh my gosh! I have to go get my stuff. I got some cola in me. I'm moving at blistering speed. I chuck my stuff at him. It's for being creepy. Alright, we're gonna double check and make sure he's not in here. Alright, look. It is 100% empty. I'm gonna leave it open. Just like the bathroom. Light stay on. You smirky man. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody cares what you say. Talk. You weird stiff man. Hey, don't kick my stuff. Alright. Do I wanna leave? Suspicious. Whoa! Whoa! Get in! Okay. Let's make sure closet's open. Good. Wow, this is so trippy. Bathroom, good. He's not here. Doors closed. We're locked. We're good. We're good, right? Let's go to bed. Okay. Oh! He's in there again. Okay, so we clearly know he's in there. I can pick up my stuff. Why? Why give me the option to pick up my stuff? That's really weird. Didn't feel safe going out. Isn't that interesting? I can pick up my stuff. Like as if that, that was a thing to do. Huh? Hello? Open the door! It's clearly not the killer! Hey! There's a killer in my- Didn't I specifically? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shh! Goofy guy! No, not goofy guy. Uh, I'm- What is that? Why are you all- Mention the coffee machine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shh! Yeah, yeah, it's right over there. Follow me! Follow me! Let's get out of here! I swear to God, it was right there! I gotta go back now. Okay. So he's super angry, we're supposed to go back. There should be some medication in your room. That should offer me some relief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take your drugs, bro. I grab the pills. Requires water. Hey, it's open. I didn't close this. He's in there. Well, it doesn't matter. We're taking pills. We all know that kidnappers cannot attack you while you're taking pills. It's just like a unwritten rule somewhere. Didn't feel safe going out. Oh yeah, that's him! That's him! That's the murderer! That's the kidnapper! Ah, uh, no! trapped in here I can't move the suitcase I'm trapped please don't make me carry you anymore why can't I pick him up here because I'm focused on the door crap I gotta start over and I can't do anything you know, there's no option to say hey we start I have to literally close the whole game <laughs> oh. all right took the pills all the suitcases nice and tidy over there. Not gonna touch them. Not gonna screw myself over. 
We're gonna look in through the door. We're gonna wait for this creepy guy to come up. Let's open that fully. Who is it? What do you want? I need your help. Do nothing. I will not. Please leave. Go away or call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Oh! Hoo -hoo. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get the police involved after it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. Eh, go with me? I believe the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something worse. How about both? Tommy arrived with the car after what would felt like a year. Did he bring his Tommy gun? I never went on long road trips again. I always take airplanes. Uh, I got the more the more of the story is take airplanes. <laughs> I kind of wish the save point was after the suitcase. I, I every time I did something wrong, I had to go do the suitcase over and over. I only got two hands. Maybe if there was like a vending machine that let me grow two more hands, I'd be happier. But anyways, overall, this was fantastic. Absolutely love this. Can't wait for episode three. Well, that's it for Fears to Fathom. Episode two, Norwood Hitchhike. Let me know what you guys think about this creepy game. Did you guys play it? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.